Hi, today's video is the 40 questions getting to know me challenge. We were nominated by Mark and Coral from Hitch Up and Toe. Um, we're going to do it in a slightly different way, hopefully to make it more entertaining for you guys watching. What we've done is we've both typed out our answers of what each other thinks our answers are going to be to the questions. So for example, the first question is, do you like blue cheese? We'll both say our answers and then we'll hold up our answers. So I'm going to hold up my answer that I think Pete was going to give and Pete's going to hold up the answer that he thought I was going to give. And that way it would be a bit more interesting and funny. So without further ado, question number one, do you like blue cheese? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I thought Pete would say it's okay. And I thought Kaz was going to say yes on steak. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two, Coke or Pepsi? I'm going to go for Coke. I'm going to go for Coke, but it has to be caffeine free. I got it right. And I got it wrong. To be fair, that's probably because at the moment I'm being naughty and I'm drinking some cherry Pepsi, but it's got caffeine in it, which upsets my tummy. So, um, understandably. Yes. Naughty. Question number three, in a relationship. Yes. yes. <laughs> married to Pete, um, married to Kaz. <laughs> I'm married to Kaz and you yeah. are? I'm married to Pete, but okay. I'm answering your question. Okay. So you would have said yes, married to Kaz. Right, okay. <laughs> Whiskey, tequila or vodka? I say it pretty much depends on the time of the day, but I'm going to go for tequila. Um, I don't really want any of them but if I had to then I'd say whiskey whiskey for me yeah whiskey. so I got it wrong well it depends you know sometimes it's whiskey day sometimes it's tequila day you said tequila so I got yeah. it wrong okay and I chose vodka for you hot dog or cheeseburger I say cheeseburger for you I say hot dog for you yeah Favourite food? For Pete, I say spaghetti bolognese. Because I say Turkish. Ooh. I don't know. I don't really know what my favourite food is, but I do like Turkish. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody said to you, you want a plate of Turkish food, what would you say? Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> Just don't get it very often. Very, 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 very rarely. So it's bag bowl for Pete. Yeah. And Turkish for Kaz. What do you drink in the AM? Black coffee for Pete. Purple squash for Kaz. Yeah. Yep. Can you do a hundred push-ups? No. <laughs> yes, but not in one day. <laughs> I don't. I couldn't even do one. I really couldn't. <laughs> Favorite season. So I thought you would like autumn. And I thought you would like summer. Yes. What did you like? Autumn. And I'm summer. And a summer. Definitely. Right. Your favourite hobby. What's your favourite hobby? My favourite hobby. It's a difficult one. Um, I'm probably going to come out and say photography. Okay. I'm going to say crafting. Okay. I put vlogging because I know you like doing the videos. Oh, it's photo it's I, uh, photographic related, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I thought, uh-uh, <laughs> gardening. <laughs> it's my new yeah. found um, hobby, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite. Yeah, we did a uh, well. You did a lot of gardening during lockdown, didn't you? Yeah. So that's why I kind of picked on this one. Yeah, yeah. no, I do enjoy it, but I wouldn't yeah. say it was my favourite. Okay. Tattoos. That's quite easy. Yes. So yes. How many have I got? Oh dear, yeah, that's that's the question. I'm going to say a dozen. Close, 13. Yeah. yeah. And Pete is yes, he's got yeah. two. No, I don't. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> One, two. How many arms have I got? Oh yes! <laughs> what does it say? One, here? two, three, four. Yeah, four. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah. I feel really bad now. <laughs> Do you wear glasses? So I wear glasses for driving, and if I'm really tired, I use them to watch the TV. 
I wear them all the time when I'm awake, otherwise I can't see anything. Should have gone to spec savers. I did. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. Probably more than I should. Yes. Than I do. The, um, ne the, the next um, question, I've actually got something in my pocket. No, 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 okay. no. Okay, right, come on. I know, it's not, I know it's not real because it'd be squished up in there. Um, so, phobias. I'm saying that Pete is afraid of heights. I'm afraid of heights, and in particular, I think I'm afraid of edges. Yeah, so if it's a like a something high with an edge, I'm really not a fan of something like that. I thought that picture was quite apt. <laughs> yeah. Kaz may have a little issue. I hate, yeah. I hate to, the, and I, I don't know why my <laughs> husband, who says he loves me dearly and would do anything for me, ridicules me and teases me in such a way with something that I am, ab I absolutely hate. Do you want to see what's in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Spiders. There we go. I can't even tell him when there's a spider in the house because I'll know he'll tr he'll chase me with it. <laughs> you know, to the point of me locking myself in the toilet crying. Yeah. But he still does it. Maybe. As you can tell, I'm not impressed. So what I'm going to do next time, I think I'll print out a picture of a spider, put it on a piece of paper and slide it under the door. <laughs> <laughs> Nicknames. So my name is Karen, but I like to be called Kaz. Kaz. Um, I'm not aware that Pete has any nicknames. although Apart I from do. Pete. That's well, not really my name, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. well, yeah, Peter. Yeah. You are Peter. Yeah. But very rarely do you get called Peter because that's only when you're in trouble. Only oh, when I'm in trouble. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Although I do sometimes call him Hong Kong for me, but we'll yeah, come that's, into that that's later. That's a different subject. <laughs> so I put no, but yeah, I suppose Pete is a nickname. Um, so for the next one, favourite candy. Now, because the word candy has been used, I guess this has come from America. Um, or the US. I don't quite know. I think between over the pond there's a difference between candy. So if you said candy to me, I'd think of like um refreshers. Like a hard candy. Um yeah, not chocolate. I wouldn't think of chocolate as being candy. Um so bearing that in mind, I thought Pete's favourite candy would be um love hearts. And I in my definition of candy, I did include chocolate, so I went with Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher would be correct if it was chocolate. Yeah. Okay. And what's yours? Love Hearts, you certainly. Love Hearts, yeah. something like that. Sour, yeah. yeah any any yeah. sours. Yeah, yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do. And I said yes. But do you believe in ghosts? I said I, I believe so, yes. You do believe in ghosts? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Another one I got wrong. I definitely believe in ghosts, I've seen several but I didn't think he believed in ghosts. Biggest downfall. So I I couldn't, th I couldn't think of a downfall for Pete and that's not me being like nice or, I, I really, I was trying to think and put myself in Pete's shoes, what he would think his biggest downfall. And I just really couldn't think of one. So I, 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 I looked out there, I just whipped out with a er, er. I'm gonna say I've got a lack of patience. <laughs> that would be mine too, actually. <laughs> Well, I put for you, sometimes you have a lack of self-belief. Yeah. Rain or snow? So for me, snow. Snow. On a positive note, I haven't seen a mosquito in weeks. Piercings. So I have one, two, three. Well, it depends if you call it, class them in pairs or precise. I've got three in this year. Three in this year, so that's six, and one here, that's seven. So that's seven for me. How many have you got? I got one. Right here. I said one. I said yes. <laughs> then it's eight. Yes. <laughs> Age. Pete is 51. Yep. Forty-nine. I'm not talking about fifty. Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Forty-nine and a half. <laughs> Pete's fifty-one. Yeah. French fries or onion rings? Definitely onion rings. Onion rings for you and for me. I said onion ring onion rings for you. Yeah, but for you. For me. You're not getting the hang of this. No. Because <laughs> well, I think we're changing the rules as we're going along. Well, we need to give our answers yeah, first. Yeah. So what do you like? I like French fries or chips. 
So I guessed French fries for Pete. And I guessed on your rings for Kaz. Yay! Kids, so I guessed that Pete would say, I couldn't eat a whole one. What did you say for me? I said no. So our answers were kids, um, no. Yeah, that is the That's answer. It, yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite colour? Your favourite colour? Orange. Purple. Yay! Yay! We'll get the hang of this before we get to the end of the questions. Can you sing? No. Can you sing? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> I was on stage for a couple of years singing solos and <laughs> duets. I suppose it's one of those. I wouldn't. I, you know, I wouldn't put myself into the X Factor. Um, I have seen a lot worse than myself on X Factor, but um, I can hold a tune. So I put no for Pete. Definitely not. Can you whistle? I cannot whistle. I can whistle. I thought Pete could whistle, although I did hear him. I did hear him whistle the other day, and I thought. That's only just, that's, <laughs> but I erred on the side of being nice, <laughs> but yes. No, I'm not a whistler. <laughs> Where were you born? I'm going to say Bristol for you. Where were you born? Where was I born? I was born in Nottingham. I was born in Bristol. Nottingham. And Bristol. Have you got any siblings? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have one brother. Pete has two sisters. Can you cook? Yes, I can. Yes, I can, but I choose not to. Pete does the most of the cooking in our house. Can you swim? Yes, that's an easy one. Yes, I can. Yeah. Are you religious? I am not. I'm not religious, but... I do kind of believe in something and I do kind of believe in bits from lots of different things. Um, but I mean, I'm, you know, I, I would say I'm a Christian, but I wouldn't say I necessarily practice, but I believe in something. I just don't think it's worthwhile fighting about this kind of stuff. No. no. Pete actually has this t-shirt. Shower or bath? Do you prefer a shower or I a bath? I prefer a shower. I prefer a shower. I'm on a roll now. And it's a good job we prefer a shower because I don't think I've seen a caravan with a bath in it. <laughs> yes, we have. Have we? Yes. Okay. Um, not not another. England. Not another square. Not another square box. Oh right. They had yes. that sunken bath in. Not a, another white box. Not another white box. Yep. yep. Um, there was a sunken blue kind of porcelain bath. Okay. In a really right. old-fashioned caravan. I think it was a Winchester, but we'll have to do our research and yep. maybe put it over the top. Okay. Do you prefer big city or the outdoors? The outdoors, please. Outdoors, yay. Oh, I'm going to guess outdoors and nature yes. for you as well. Yeah. There we go. Are you a good friend? Now, I, I, I find this really difficult, um, thinking about an answer for myself and thinking of what Pete might would put for himself as well. So I thought for Pete... Yes, he is a good friend, um, but it's one of those, he doesn't necessarily have to speak to someone or see someone that often, but when you pick up the phone or you see them, it's like you only saw each other um, yesterday. And if you rang him for something, in you know, desperate for something, you needed him, he'd be there. Right. Yep, I think that's fair enough. And I just said, plain old, yes. Broken bones. Have you had any broken bones? I have. I thought you had, but I couldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to name them. Um, and yes, I have. Which I also couldn't name. Um, I have to say that mine are fingers and toes. Mine might have been my elbow. Or, you know, that at least features once. in a minute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many TVs? Well, we both got the same TVs. Well, I'm going to say you were going to say four. Okay, I thought you were going to say the same answer as me because obviously we have the same, same number of TVs. Yep. And I thought we only had three TVs, so... <laughs> We've got one in the dining room, like our front room. Yes, one in the front room. One in the bedroom. Yep, that's two. And one in the caravan. Do we? We've got two in the caravan. Yes. 
I wasn't sure. I can't remember. We remember that one we put over there? Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Over there on the second TV point. <laughs> we got four. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of an overkill for the caravan, but you know, it does make it easier at a night time. Love to keep unplugging yeah. and carting it yeah. around. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you do see in um, motorhomes and caravans two brackets. And yeah, there are two brackets. So you wouldn't necessarily expect people to unplug and re yeah. plug it all back in. Now, moving on to that broken elbow of yours. <laughs> worst pain ever. What was your worst pain ever? My worst pain ever, it might have been the, the Hong Kong Fui incident when I was impersonating <laughs> him with a blindfold going down a hill on a bicycle. So Hong Kong Fu wears a bandana right yeah. on top of his head and Pete was cycling on his bike when he yeah. was a young boy and yeah. the bandana <laughs> slipped down over his eyes and he couldn't so see. So Hong Kong funny, Hong Kong Fu might wear a bandana but Pete wears a blindfold when he goes cycling downhill. You know. <laughs> Not a good idea. Okay, so my worst pain ever was when I had a flare-up of my Crohn's disease and I was all ulcerated inside and I mean just literally my stomach was in agony. So I put elbow on toilet yeah. for Pete. Yeah. But so that was I was after a spider. I uh, stood on the you know, the porcelain rim to you get a bit of height, karma. and yeah, you know, porcelain can be quite slippery. <laughs> and it was one of those toilet roll. Was it with those? Um, it was, like it was old, old style China like, ones. Yeah, one, one of those ones that the... stick out. Yeah. 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 Landed yeah. on your elbow. That's right. That. Yeah. Mm. So I put for you the. The knee incident that you had when you tripped over on stage and you had to have surgery oh, in your knee and that stuff. Was, yeah. Yeah. Now I have to say that was pretty painful. So going back to my singing, um, 20 years ago I was a holiday rep and once a week we used to do cabaret which meant we had to do lots of singing, dancing and acting and stuff to entertain our poor old um, tourists in resort. Um, to be honest, it got very boring doing it week after week and we used to drink quite a lot of vodka which is probably why I don't like vodka now because I used to drink quite a lot of vodka and I have to say I was a little bit tipsy I'd come off of stage to change my outfit in between acts and I heard them announcing my act so I ran to go on to stage and there was a, a big step and it's just about bottom of your knee height and I literally just stopped dead on my knees and fell face forward onto the stage. Um, extremely painful. Um, I was rushed to hospital in a 50, a 54 seater or 52 seater coach all by myself. Um, I've never been in a coach that has traveled so quickly and it actually pulled right up to the ramp, right at the front of the hospital. Um, it, it caused quite a commotion. Um, and I have, I have scars and numb knees to still to this day. Um, but yeah, that was very painful and some of my, my old repping friends that um, I'm still in contact with will, will find that highly amusing and will remember it well. Do you like to dance? No, I don't. I said I've no. Got, I've got yeah. the rhythm of a, of a stone. I just don't have any. So it's a big fat no. No. In fact, he hates dancing. You know when you go to someone's birthday or a wedding and the really cheesy songs come up and someone keeps going on and on and on at you? Sometimes I will give in, but Pete is like, no. no. And, and, and I'm definitely not uh, one for the slow dance at the end. No. I mean, even if Pete were to get up and say, let, I'd be like, no, no. Do you like camping? Do you like camping? I said, I like, I used to like it a lot more than I do. I think since we've moved into the luxuries of a caravan, I think I'd be, I'd find it very hard to go back into a tent and like sleep on the floor and stuff like that. So I'm going to say a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, I noticed that my, my my wording hasn't come off, but we when we were when we first got together, um, I'd done camping in the past, and we started off camping, and that was fine. But as you kind of get a bit older, or the more you do it, you realise that you're missing out on comforts. And when we've literally progressed through, you know, to a tent, to a, a, a little camper van, to a trailer tent, to, <laughs> to a to caravan. A caravan. Yeah. Um, so yeah, given the choice, I'd rather have a caravan than a tent, but. Um, yeah, I like camping. Yeah, so I said a a little. Yeah, I mean, I've got I've printed off a picture there that's got tents, but it's also got a camper van. You know, so given the choice, we'd rather have a camper van than, yeah. than a tent. Are you weird? Are you weird? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm de I'm definitely weird. Today we're having our team meeting at 
half past three, and one of the directors, I told him, you know, he was telling us about, you know, eventual return to office and everything like that. I said, I'm quite fine working from home. I'm just going to chat to my imaginary friend who's right next to me at the moment. <laughs> I got him worried for about 30 seconds. <laughs> So I guess that Pete would give a bit of a sarcastic, funny answer to this, and I thought he'd say, no, it's everyone else. Yep. And the final question, which actually isn't really a question, is tag six friends. So what we will do is in the description below, we will um, put the details of the six people that we're going to nominate for the 40 questions get to know me challenge. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Um, it didn't flow as well as we thought it would, but <laughs> we got there eventually. It, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. I hope you can understand what we were trying to get to yeah. and what our answers were. Yeah. Um, I just, just didn't, a, want, didn't want to do this, the kind of same else as everybody else. I wanted to do something a bit different, but. We just treated it as a bit of fun. Yeah, that's all it is, you know. Life's too short to worry about things. And, it is. you know, let's hope that you've had a an enjoyable 20 minutes. So until the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Goodbye.